I was just checking the scores. That's it. Hello there. Let me know how I can help. When I'm a founder, I want a collection like this. They're actioning that request right away. Your personal vehicle will be there any minute. I have my mic off. Guys, I have my mic off. We need lights. Where's the light man? Brian, give me a fucking spotlight. All right, let's run through this. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness live television entertainment in front of your very eyes. This is Famer Shame Live with your host, Laszlo. He does that. And then, shit, ow! And then I run on, and everybody claps, and then I go, it's time to introduce the guests. And then, where's my assistant with a list of guests? Hello? If you pull that pregnancy pity party on me one more time, I will lose my cool, okay? Tony, your friend's here. All right, thank God. Brilliant. That's a wrap. Piss off, Laszlo. What? This is a nightclub. This live version of an awful TV show is not happening. Not, not, but Tony... Oh, but Tony, please, nothing. We have a new landlord. We're going back to what we do best. Playing loud music, encouraging awful behavior, dancing until dawn, and having personal crises like good, God-fearing idiots. <laughs> Tony, please, I'm desperate. <laughs> Listen, I love narcissism. I built a career on narcissism. I stare into the mirror and beat off like a real man. I pose, I preen, but there's a limit here. I cannot, I will not sit here and watch it. We need kids, young people, midlife crisis divorcees, whoever's gonna bring the party, and we need them wasted, and we need them dancing, not taking selfies with some fuckwits. I ran the fucking 1980s. I was the 1990s. And I'm back. Okay. Get me a DJ! But, Tony, I, I'm the DJ. <laughs> I'm the, no, you're not a fucking DJ. You're a dick. A, a dick? But, uh, Tony, I got you a bunch of celebs. I'm gay Tony. The gay Tony. I'm the celebrity here. Me and him. But if you want to bring some famous people into the club, we will host them gracefully. Because I am favor and grace, and I am back. I got an investor. We're running shit again. I need a DJ. <laughs> I've been high since 2010. What do these kids need nowadays? I I'm having a breakdown. <sighs> I'm too old. Me too. Yeah. Tony, can we hug? Yeah, yeah. Please. Sure, yeah. You shouted at me a lot. All right, all right. All and right. Tony, yeah. I don't think you can say gay Tony anymore. It's not PC. The internet will go crazy. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. All right, all right. Find me English Dave. English Dave? He's a, a DJ, the booker. He's in the book. All right, come on, boss. Let me show you very soon. Okay, you got it. All right. 
I am gonna fix this place up for you. You can do whatever you want down here. Literally, whatever you want. That's a gorgeous space. Plenty of room, lots of storage. You can set up a hub for your other businesses, maybe. I don't know, I'm just saying. Whatever you need, I know nothing. I mean, I know everything, but hmm. Make your way through there. You got a computer in there. You can bring another staff down here, your whole entourage, whatever you need. You sure know how to set that up. And upstairs, upstairs is another office with a computer on the same network. You can run the club businesses out of that. And the interior team ready to move in. Ho oh, ho. And the name, Masonette Los Santos. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go. Amigo! <laughs> hey. Que pasa? Hey, hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. That's my new investor. English day. Ah, uh, safe. Skin. Respect. That's where you been, Tone. Long time, no power. Uh, hi, the kite, Dave, and curse and fate. And you? Oh, oh never better, old son, never better. <laughs> Born love. Nice bag? Ah, oh, no, thanks. Ah, <laughs> suit yourself. <sighs> what can I do you for? We're reopening as a nightclub. Ha <laughs> ha! A proper, underground, dance music paradise. And what kind of crowd do you want in this, uh... Paradise. Uh, don't be judgmental, Dave. We're gonna make this place amazing. I need people, you know, who know music. Club music. What you need, old son, is a European. <clears throat> Someone with savoir-faire. Someone who can bring in the business. Let me see. <clears throat> no, not him. Not her. To open this dump, bring in a good crowd. Solomon. It's the proper shit. Great music, great crowd, and no cheese. Mm, how much? Let me see what I can do. Daniel, his manager, owes me a favor. I've got a few other DJ ideas as well. One love. Do you know Ritual Sacrifice? Festival out in the desert. Gotta borrow some things from their socialist utopia. And staff, I've arranged to poach a few. It's all on the office computer. All right, what's up, guys? I had my mic muted this whole time. It was <laughs> the biggest mistake ever, but it was fun. But hello, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. And at the beginning of the, uh, the live stream, I was supposed to say what's up. I said my my classic intro. And um, oh yeah, and also Bad Bunny is here with me. What's up? What's up, Nathan? How you doing? What's good? Yeah, he's he's um right beside me playing GTA 4 on my PS3, and as you as you can see, I bought the nightclub, and yeah, let's go check this babe. Let's go check this puppy out. Lazlo, Lazlo is gay. <laughs> no, that's, no, that's gay Tony. He's gay. No. All right, my mic is on. Okay. Wow, look at this. This this place. Oh look, speaking of Lazlo, there he is. Good to see you in here. Yeah, shut up, Lazlo. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. And there's Gay Tony. Oh, I forgot I have this taunt. Oh yeah, I forgot this new taunt. Yeah. I, I don't know, I forgot how to... I honestly don't know. I know. Alright, there's um... Worst of all, um, all right, let's let's do the um the mi the setup missions. Wanna jail? I'm gonna be downstairs playing GTA oh. 4. This is your private office. Tony has already started renovating this area and shares this space with you. Hold up one second, Nathan. Let me. I'll wait. be downstairs. All right. I'll right, see y'all later. See ya. Well, yeah. Workouts house will be gone on the warehouse and garage space below the nightclub access these basements level uh whatever log on to your computer to access the nightclub management app and begin setup for the rest of your club all right all right all right and also nathan has went downstairs to play some gta 4 and yeah he's probably gonna watch the live stream later and yeah mom like us um i said um oh my god let's do the setup missions shall we this is my first time buying the nightclub, and um, oh yeah, um, the reason why I couldn't do the live stream um yesterday is because I was uh, I came from my trip back to Florida, and I would have done it yesterday, but I was on a our long ass road trip, and so I'm back. So all right, access must be granted by Tony Prince before. Please complete the nightclub setup. All right, set up staff, set up equipment. Let's get the staff, shall we? 
All right, let's guess. Let's rescue these puppies. Okay, here we go. Get us our staff. You can pick them up in any order. You're collecting our head bartender, the head of security, and front of house, and someone to run your warehouse. Bring them all in here, and we'll get it rolling. All right, Tony Prince, are the closest one is literally right here. So let's go get let's go get him. I believe this is um the head bartender Connie, I think is her name. So old and also this is um Tony's car from GTA 4, the one that you drive around. And what a cool little Easter egg. All right, let's get her. Hey, this is great. I'm so pumped to be working your bar for you. What up? Uh, let's collect the other one. Let's go oh, I'm over here. Oh shit. <laughs> Whatever. When I agreed to come on, I gave him one rule. No watering down my bottles. And to be fair, he promised those days were behind him. You gotta serve the best quality shit nowadays. You'll get one star on I Find Maps, and that is it for you. Believe me. I accidentally hang, um, hanged up a talk call from Tony, but probably you probably um, have heard this before. But let's let's collect these guys. Our my my people. And also, if you guys don't know by now, um, some of the DJs will actually be drip fed. Yep, you heard me. They they are drip feeding DJs. And when I first saw the trailer, I wanted Solomon, and lucky for me, I got him right now. But um, yeah, um, when I, when these um DJs will um be releasing, I will be live streaming the missions and get them getting these guys. All right. But for now, let's um set up my nightclub, dance our way through the night, and yeah, shall we? But let's collect our staff in the meantime. Right, where's this guy? Oh, he's over here. Oh, wait, never mind. He's over here. Mm. He's stupid. Uh, hello? Great oh, is this dude? Our warehouse technician. I think it's Johan. Good to be a part of the team. What's up? That looks like Johan, your tech. He'll run the warehouse. You know, all your other businesses. It's an important part of the operation. The part that's paying the rent. He can plug into any manufacturing you have set up and bring it through our storage here. He's a clever boy. All right. So, uh, you're the mixologist? I'm the bartender. The most complicated drink I make is a shot. But it'll be the best damn shot of your short and meaningless life. Uh, okay. You like Solomon? The, the DJ? Yeah, yeah, he's great. But I'll be down in the warehouse mostly. Right. That's cool. Alright, let's collect this, um, the bouncer over here. Because, you know. Look at this! Look at this nightclub right here. All right, get in, loser. Thanks for the pickup. Connie, love you, girl. It's a nice to meet the two of you. Hey, stranger. I'm your. All right, let's go back to the club. Is Marcel on board? He'll handle all security and the whole front of house setup. Used to be I would work the velvet rope, but that's a young man's game. Marcel here has a laser eye for good people and bad. He'll make sure all the right kids are coming in and the wrong ones are staying out. All right. So is this everyone? Are we going to work? Look at you. All eager on your first day. Gay Tony, Solomon, damn right we're eager. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, Jesus. The warehouse is gonna be pretty sweet, too. The network they set up is like lightning. Um, okay. I'll come down and check it out. One day. 
Uh, you hear Marcel. Alright, right, here we are. I got the staff and we're ready to go. There's my car right there. The staff were transported to the nightclub. Alright, let's do this. This is in the club. There's pretty much a dump at this point, but hey, whatever. We're setting it up. And there's, there she is right there. All right, it's time to get the equipment. Okay, okay, we've got our core team. Now, if we can just get that audio equipment, we can finish setting up this place. When you're ready, come and access the computer. All right, let's um, set up the computer. Mm. Sorry if I, if I stutter a lot, my guys, because sometimes I don't know what to say. But anyways, set up the equipment. Let's go, baby. All right, I heard we got to get this party boss all the way from the freaking um, desert. Okay, head out into the desert. Like I said, we need to borrow some equipment from this festival, Ritual Sacrifice. I don't know if these guys are dorks, DJs, or doomsday preppers. Probably all of the above. But they've got a killer speaker system, and it's on wheels. The crew is having a bit of a festival wind-down party. So get over there and get the system, and maybe try not to kill anyone. I've got enough angst as it is. All right, I'll try not to, um, Prince. All right, let's go. Let's just get the, my buzzard. And we'll get there really fast because it's going to be a long-ass drive. All right, where is this? Jesus, it's all the way over there. All right, let's 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 do this, my people. It's going to be a long-ass drive, but whatever. And I still have $9 million to spend. So I'll, I'll be buying the two um, weaponized vehicles that we got right now. And I'll um, buy the Ocelot Swinger and customize it. It's a $12 million spending speed for crying out loud. <laughs> but anyways, let's go all the way back, um, to the festival and steal this party bus. Jesus, it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be a long ass drive, but thank God, uh, what do you mean thank God, I'm so silly. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna have to drive this freaking bus all the way over there, and, and some, um, from the looks of it, um, guys, do not buy the festive bus, what are you, what, what is that gonna be, um, used for? No, don't buy it, it's a, it's a Pegasus vehicle, and it has no use. The only things you should buy is the two cars, the Jester Classic and the Ocelot Swinger. And maybe um, if you want to, you can buy the um, the Hummer, the Patriot Stretch. But try not to buy the festive um, bus. But do buy the weaponized vehicle. I heard those are um, delivery vehicles that will protect you against griefers and stuff like that. Yeah, that's going to be really useful for me too. Well, anyways, we're almost there. It's just all the way over here. And yeah, let's just go over there. All right, there it is. Um, wait, where is the? Bu I thought it was gonna be over there, um over there or something. Over there. Oh, I see it. I believe I see it. Uh, yep, there's right here. Alright, uh, let's go steal this freaking truck. Well, I'm kind of curious. I want to see what this um, festive look like. Everybody! Get the fuck out of here! Get out of here, people. I'm stealing this bus. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, God. 
Oh god. Come on, come on, come on. Oh god. Boys, I may have... Oh god. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh god. Jesus, look at this freaking... Monster off a truck. Alright, let's get out of here. Jesus, this thing is so slow. Oh, sh this thing is so slow. And it's probably not going to be able to fit through almost anything. Alright, it's going to be a long ass drive, so get ready. Excuse me. Jesus, this bus is dusty as hell. But I mean, the bus itself looks really cool, but it's not worth buying out loud. Come on, oh god. Boys, I may have gotten this thing stuck. No, we don't, never mind. Just gonna have to find another way. Come on. Jesus, this, this thing is a freaking pain to drive. And it spawns at random locations too. I might have to go on um, different ways because yeah this thing's not doesn't fit anything. Look how huge look how big this thing is. And also the the only good thing about this is that you can stand on top of this um party bus and you won't even fall down. That's the thing. Just like Watch Dogs um if you if you guys ever played the Watch Dogs one online free roam, uh, and I'm telling you it's a freaking it was freaking fun. You can mess around and you won't have to worry about griefers. Like actual griefers. You may get killed, but that's part of the game. A lot of people say that killing is part of game, um, the game, but... Come on, you're just being a dickhead. Just killing other people and destroying their cargoes. If you guys don't know, I'm also in the professional crew, so... Yeah. I'm a, I'm a money grinder. That's why I've got so much money. Let me see how this looks. Jesus, this looks like the freaking prison bus from the freaking heist update. Whatever, let's just drive it all the way over here and yeah, I wish I could like pause the thing for a second, but I don't know. Oh, I tried to, but alright, let's go. Oh God, oh, don't worry, we can always go around. I'm kind of scared to go through that, so I'm going over here. Jesus, it's a four mile drive. It's a freaking nightmare. But no worries. <laughs> we'll get there as soon as possible. Excuse me. Oh god. Does this thing have a horn? Oh god. Alright, let's go around. It's not that I don't suck at driving, it's because the freaking signs are in the way and it's freaking pain to drive. Yeah, don't buy this. 1.3 million dollars, not worth it, man. Don't buy it. And let's just keep going. Wait, what am I even saying now? Wait, hold on. Does this thing even have a horn? No, it does not. I'm pressing the freaking horn honk button, and it won't. It won't. It won't let me. <laughs> you got the system? Fuck. Bring it to the club. Oh, I have even suit. I just like to do this a lot. But anyways, let's just deliver the stuff. Deliver the equipment back to the club, and yeah, let's do it. Jesus, this is fucking boring as shit. Look at this, it's, it's freaking pain. Is there a speedometer? How fast is this thing? Like 15 miles per hour? Damn, this thing is slow as fuck. Look at this. I mean, I like I, the freaking um, bus looks awesome, but it's slow as, it's slow to drive.
How's everybody doing today? Good? Alright. We have one person in arm um, earlier, but he, he decided to level. Whatever, I made these live streams for fun. To entertain you guys and to look back of, of, of the stuff that I bought. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, here's the real question. Will this thing be able to fit through this tunnel? Let's find out. It probably... Yup, it won't. Fuck. Alright, excuse me. Alright, come on, let's freak this guy out. You see? This is how you get the NPCs to free and get freaked out. Just drive them and they'll all go. Oh god. Alright, excuse me. And there's a lamppost right here in my freaking... Oh wait, never mind. He's not there anymore, but let's keep going. Let's go the other way around this time. Jesus, this um, <laughs> people were right about this thing. It is, it's a freaking pain to drive this. What's the point of adding adding this when no one's ever going to use it? Well, that's Rockstar Games for ya. They like to add pointless things just so they can make, um, grab a bunch of cash from you. Because, you know, they're a business. They got to make money. All right, let's just... Keep going. It's a freaking pain to drive this shit, but whatever. Let's keep going. Oh god, this is boring as fuck. I've, 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 I've said the same thing over and over again, huh? Because yeah, that's just how I am. But hey, we're almost there. One point um six um ugh, one point sixty five miles. Oh god, and there goes the skull. <laughs> hey. At least we don't have to worry about it no more. Bye, Skull. Oh god. And there goes my other speaker. Oh god. Come on. Well, hey. Well, we're only here for these speakers that are right here. Not the ones that are playing over. Oh god, this, this shit's too small to fit. Will it fit? Oh god, it fit. And it goes the other speakers. Shit, take it easy. Lucky for you, it's only one speaker on the side. We need it. I'm sorry, but hey. Only the speakers. Hey, Tony, it's not my fault that these things can't. Um, this thing is huge and it can't fit through anything. But luckily, you only need the speakers from the side. <laughs> Uh, if only we, if only I had a cargo bot, but it probably won't be able to pick this shit up. Uh, how far are we? Alright, we're almost there. It's just over there. Jesus, this is a freaking pain to drive. And I heard it's supposed to add a new radio station, but they haven't added it. Alright, boys, here we are. Vespucci Canal, um, Los Santo, um, mate, uh, uh. Mason at Los Santos located at the Vespucci Canal because not a lot of shit happens in the Vespucci Canal so that's why I'll start a nightclub over there with the help of Tony Prince himself alright let's go and we're almost here ah oh, thank you god finally made it finally made it to my freaking nightclub and I got the, the speakers Jesus, that was a pain to drive all over here. And if you can, um, guys, what up? Um, for those who skipped um the thing, yeah, you need you need, you need to. All right, all right, 